Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create these flowers. Let's open a new document, get rid of the fill and leave the stroke black. First we'll create a flower petal. You can either use the pen tool or the curvature tool. Today I will be using the curvature tool. Basically you want to create two separate stroke paths. Let's create one curved line and another one. Switch to the direct selection tool, bring those two anchor points together and these two as well. Select one of the paths and change its color to bright yellow. Select the other one and change its color to bright pink or whatever color you prefer. Now select both paths, go to Object, Blend, Blend Options, change the spacing to specified steps and use 14. Go to Object one more time, Blend and choose Make or press the Ctrl, Alt and B keys on your keyboard. It is a good idea to memorize this keyboard shortcut. If you wish to add or reduce the number of lines, go back to Object, Blend, Blend Options, check the preview box to see what we are doing, highlight the number and using the up or down arrow keys on your keyboard, adjust the value. In the next step, we'll create many copies of this petal and arrange them into a flower. Before we do any changes to our petal, first we need to expand it. With the petal still selected, go to Object and choose Expand. Now press the letter R for the Rotate tool and move the rotation point to the bottom anchor point. To do this, just click on this anchor point. Then click on the other anchor point, hold and drag. While you are dragging your mouse, press the Alt key as well to create a copy. And repeat this a few times. If you wish, you can adjust the size. Next, we'll reflect the petals on the right side to the other side. First, using the lasso tool, create a closed path around all the anchor points at the bottom. Then, right-click with your mouse, choose Average and select both for the axis. Switch to the Selection tool and select the three petals on the right. Then press the letter O for the Reflect tool and while you are holding down the Alt key, click on this anchor point to set the Reflect point. Choose the vertical axis and click Copy. Select everything and group it together. Let's resize it and move it up for now. Next, we'll create a stem using the same technique. First, create a curved line. Now, duplicate it. Adjust the color. Select both. And like before, go to Object, Blend, Blend Options. But this time, change the specified steps to about 7. Just experiment and see what works for you. Now press the Ctrl, Alt and B keys to blend it. Next, we'll create a rounded leaf that consists of two parts. First, create one curved line and one straight line. Bring the anchor points closer together, adjust the curve if needed, and add a darker shade of green to the curved line. Select both lines 
and apply the same blend we've used last time. Now create a second half using the same technique. Let's bring those two parts together. Switch to the lasso tool, select anchor points on the tab, right click with your mouse, choose average and select both for the axis. And do the same with the bottom anchor points. Select both halves, resize it if needed and group them together. Let's place it on the stem. Create an extra copy and place it on the opposite side. Now adjust the position and rotation. Next we'll create two long leaves. First draw two curved lines that cross each other. Bring the top anchor points together and adjust the color and curves. Select both and apply the same blend as before. And let's make another leaf using the same method. If you wish, you can bring the top anchor points of the stem closer together. Now select the flower, place it over the stem, rotate it if needed and bring it to the front. Let's make some final adjustments. Now select everything and create extra copies. If you wish, you can resize it and reflect it to the other side. When you are done, select everything, group it together and align it to the artboard. Finally, create a new layer, move it to the bottom, make sure it is selected Change the fill to black or any dark color and using the rectangle tool cover the whole artboard with that color. Let's lock the bottom layer. Finally we will trim the bottom edges of our flowers. First select everything, then go to object and use expand and repeat this a few times. With all the flowers still selected, press the Shift and E keys on your keyboard to switch to the Eraser tool or select it from the toolbar panel. Next, press and hold down the Alt key and drag the mouse to create a rectangle over the bottom of our flowers. This will create a straight cut line. Now release the mouse and then the ALT key. And we are done. Try to experiment with different stroke widths, profiles, transparency and blending modes. Just be creative and have fun. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.